uh, the on campus scene is pretty good here uh, most of the students secure the uh, on campus job hey everyone welcome to another video with another very special person kratik uh, he has a very unique name i must say uh, yeah. he's currently pursuing his uh, masters in computer science from uh, syracuse university uh, and today we are going to learn all the tips and tricks and his experience with the university from him but before we deep dive into our interview uh, would love to hear a little bit about you from yourself kratik yeah hi nitin uh, firstly i like to thank you for providing me the opportunity to invite on your show i have seen many of your videos and it's really informative for me as well when i'm preparing for my masters as well and um, yeah so uh, i introduce myself myself pratik pal and uh, i'm from indore in india and uh, i have completed my undergrads from medicaps university there and uh, i have uh, i have two years of experience in amdocs development center and after this i have uh, like come to syracuse university for masters in computer science program got it got it so let's deep dive into it uh, by the way you're from indore and my my sasural my wife's place is actually ujjain and I, we have a lot of uh, uh, our relatives in indore we'll talk oh, about yeah. it after the interview though <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes so let's get into it uh, one of the first things which people do when they are uh, starting their journey right is uh, building a profile and then applying for some universities right so walk us through your journey of what was your profile in terms of gre tofel experience all of those things and then which universities did you apply to uh, mm -hmm. and then once you got some admits so how did you come about uh, shortlisting syracuse from those admits yeah sure so um, coming to my profile uh, i have completed my undergrads uh, with a cgpa of 8.18 from medicaps university in computer science branch itself uh, in the year 2020 after that i have completed uh, my two years of work experience in amdocs development center as a software developer there mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, like i started preparing for my masters and i have written my gre with a score of 305 and mm -hmm. i have given my toefl toefl a bit lit a uh, little bit score my not up to the mark it's 86 but it's good i think then yeah. after this i applied to many of the university um, mm -hmm. universities are like uh, illinois institution of technology chicago from mm -hmm. i have received my admit from the same program computer science mm -hmm. then Rikers University for the program Computer Science, uh, New Jersey Institution of Technology, uh, same program Computer Science, uh, University of Buffalo. Uh, from there, I have not received the admit uh, because yeah. I get a bit late in uh, applying and sort of things. And um, then after that, I apply to the California University, University of California Riverside for the same program Computer Science, and there also I have not received the admits. Got it. Yeah. that's my profile and application process got it got it so you had three admits you said so how yeah. did you decide uh, syracuse uh, to be the one where you want to go yeah sure so um i have the admit from iit chicago um ngit and syracuse so then i have reached to the seniors over here uh, mm -hmm. through link platform and i have contacted to them uh, for the both like i have confused between iit chicago and uh, syracuse university mm -hmm. but the uh, syracuse university seniors are uh, like they say you should go for the syracuse because it's much better than iit chicago and even the iit chicago seniors are also saying the same thing because the computer science program is uh, really good here the iit chicago program is also good but uh, the job opportunity opportunities wise the syracuse university is much better so that's okay. why i shortlisted for the syracuse university got it got it now moving on to the next uh, aspect of uh, doing masters in us which is uh, expenses right like one that is what uh, that is one of the things people want to know before they choose a university so yeah. how are the uh, how are the overall expenses uh, with syracuse if you could split your answer in two parts one is um, the overall tuition fees and mm -hmm. then the second is what are your uh, overall expenses let's say for example for a month yeah sure so coming to the tuition fees um like i have also received the scholarship of 20% in syracuse university that's also one of the basic reason why i shortlisted for the syracuse mm -hmm. uh, so after uh, like deduction of scholarship my tuition fees for the one semester will be around 15000 dollars got and, it uh, 
yeah so that's about the tuition fees part and uh, coming towards the living expense wise so the university provides the on campus uh, living but it's really too high so most of the indian students uh, are go for the off campus uh, living which is mm-hmm. really cheaper as compared to the living on campus and all so mm-hmm. in uh, living uh, off campus we have uh, average rent of about uh, 500 to 550 uh, mm-hmm. for any of the apartment um in the syracuse and uh, coming towards the basic thing like groceries and all so you will get around uh, maximum to maximum 100 dollars per head so got you can manage 600 dollars per month on got average got it got it so the fees is about i think if we Uh, kind of calculated for two years, it would come around fifty to fifty-five thousand, I believe. It's yeah. a fifty-four as per the I twenty. Yeah, mm-hmm. got it. And then uh, since the expenses look to be around six hundred to seven hundred, that would come up to be around sixteen thousand dollars for two years. Yeah, correct, correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, got it. Now, uh, moving on to the next aspect, and actually, you talked about it already, uh, which is the scholarship. uh do generally everyone get because what i have seen with syracuse is mostly with admit they would give you some kind of scholarship so yeah. is that the case uh so basically it's uh, depends on your program in computer science program they usually provide this scholarship on basis of your profile like most of the student will get this scholarship but some are them mm-hmm. are not get this scholarship so it's usually depend on your uh, profile uh, maximum student will get 20 to 30% scholarship and if you have a good profile you can even secure up to 50% scholarship which is really a good amount on your tuition fees that so, is great yeah that is great that is great now uh, coming to the living part uh, generally i have seen that people live around the city and most of the indians will generally indian students will live in one or two communities right so which are those two or three or maybe one or two communities around syracuse where you students generally you know live yeah so you are generally indian students uh, prefer to live near campus because uh, the weather is pretty harsh here in the syracuse area mm-hmm. so it will really helpful for you in the snow weather so they usually prof- uh, prefer to live uh, near to the campus area so the campus areas are like lancaster westcott and uh, most of the columbus side areas are also the which the students more preferred mm-hmm. and also there are many students who is living uh, near these areas so th- it is one of the reason the indian students would like to go for these areas near the campus got it and are there uh, like one or two communities which are more preferred in student community uh yeah there are many student communities in syracuse university in the university itself they have formed like gso group um, which the students get associated with it and they organize many fest even the indian fest uh, recently they have organized like diwali fest uh, for the indian students mm-hmm. so these are community which like uh, when the students come here they feel a little bit of home sickness so right. it will be really helpful if you join these communities and if you go uh, to these communities on occasional basis so these are the communities which student prefer to go uh, during the festive seasons got it got it now moving on to the next part which is generally once people come here they would want to uh, you know get an on campus job so how is the mm. situation with getting on campus jobs in um, syracuse what are those tips and tricks and generally in some of the universities i have seen that if you get a ta or ra you your fee stays gets waived off is that the situation yeah. in syracuse yeah yeah it's it's a totally uh, it's totally agree with you um, because the on campus scene is pretty good here uh, most of the students secure the uh, on campus job like uh, i even i have applied uh, from back in india uh, mm-hmm. the most preferred on campus jobs are the dining jobs and mm-hmm. the cafeteria jobs uh, mostly the students uh, apply to the dining area and most of the students have easily secured the job also the pay is really good here so many students have uh, managed their living expense by working on campus job only mm-hmm. uh, also 
bridge center which is a shine center here it's really good here so they also provide the job for the students who are uh, studying and all for the masters so um, the tips will be uh, you should apply once you have finalized the syracuse you should apply from your home itself and mm -hmm. um, then you uh, when you reached here then there is a process which is known as i9 form so like if you applied early you can join early and then you will uh, get paid on the regular basis on the early basis so right. that's here yeah. yeah yeah and i think once you secure a job from india once you land here you get i9 and you get your ssn done and mm -hmm. that's when you start and earning the money yeah uh, and after getting an ssn you can apply for the credit cards and all also so that's a really good advantage for the students and yeah. coming to the tn ra jobs also so yeah that is true the syracuse university has the opportunity for applying the tas and ras as well for the ta there is an eligibility criteria so for the eligibility criteria i guess the pointer should be uh, uh, there is a minimum threshold of 3.6 pointer mm -hmm. and uh, you should secure uh, like a negative grade in two core subjects mm. so really we are having a four core subjects here right. uh, that is uh, structured programming and formal methods computer architecture uh, design analysis and algorithms um so these are the subjects in this uh, you should secure at least uh, two uh, a negative grades so when you uh, when you get these uh, eligibility criteria then you can apply for the ta and mm -hmm. uh, if you get a ta then uh, your professor will recommend you to the uh, uh, students international office uh, for your uh, tuition fees um, deduction got it got it and will that waive off the whole tuition fee for the semester or some part of it yeah and not for the whole semester uh, whole subjects i guess two subjects out of three uh, will be um, like waived off for the tuition yeah. fees but Got it's it. also really, really helpful because you also parallelly working in dinings and all so you can earn a very good uh, a decent amount of money from there as well yeah yeah makes sense makes sense uh, yeah. so now uh, moving on to the next topic which is uh, about the curriculum right so how's the curriculum in Syracuse? Generally, what I have seen is there are about two to three courses in your complete list, list of 10 or 12 courses, which actually make difference in your resume. Like they add a good project or a good skill set in your resume. So what are those two or three courses in Syracuse, which are really good? So um, like for the computer science branch, the Syracuse has a very good curriculum, if I must say. Um, so as I said, like there are mainly co four core subjects that is structured programming and formal methods, design analysis and algorithms, computer architecture and operating system. These four subjects are mandatory and you have to take. Apart from this, uh, there is a 30 uh, credit course structure and um, you have to uh, like it's an elective basis. It is a pool of elective from which you can select on, on your interest. So I'm interested basically in artificial intelligence and machine learning field. So if you are going, if you are planning to go to these fields, so you should take like machine learning with graphs and um, introduction to data science and um, artificial intelligence courses are really good here so like the level of courses are very high and you should get a very much knowledge from these courses and you will be trained for your jobs as well so mm -hmm. these are the main core subjects and plus elective subjects which will be really good in the Syracuse university here got it got it now going to the last part which is the internships and the full-time job right mm -hmm. so how is the situation with internships and full time? Uh, you must have observed with your seniors or your classmates. Are people getting internships easily? Where are they getting internships? Uh, if you can share about that. Yeah, sure. So firstly, it's a very great question about internship. So if you're coming to the Syracuse, you should start applying for the internship from India as well. Um, because uh, because there is a recent uh, kind of a recession going on. Mm -hmm. So there is a much, uh, uh, not much opportunity, but yeah, if you applied for the internship, you should get a call, call back from the HR and then you will proceed through your interview uh, process and all. Also, there is a campus fair which will held in September as well. So uh, if you go there, you can submit your resume to the company, which whichever you like, and uh, they will feed your data on their system. And once they have an opening of internship, they will email you uh, and then they will schedule an internship call with you. 
and um, after you get an internship then you can easily convert it into a full time job many of the many of my seniors have con- uh, easily converted it, their internship to the full time jobs mm-hmm. uh, many seniors like got the uh, full time offer from amazon itself so uh, yeah so you can convert easily convert the internship to a full time job but you should apply on the regular basis and you should start preparing for the internship early itself mm-hmm. so you easily get an internship easily here got it got it yeah. now moving on to the last question which i generally ha- uh, ask everyone is let's say if you had to start your masters all over again what would be those two or three things that you would do differently so i would uh, start um, like uh, applying for the internship from the india as well because when i am preparing uh, to come here so like there are many things like visa process and um, many other things which i got caught up so i didn't get much time to prepare for the internship there back in india but mm-hmm. if i get a little bit more amount of time or if i have to start from there itself then i will surely uh, start preparing for the internship process even i will build my resume there and uh, i will start going to apply for the many big companies from there itself so this is the one thing which i would prepare and the second thing which i would like to go on with the um, like um, the core structure there so uh, when i reach there there are many things which which we need to settle here so okay. I, i would not get a sufficient time to uh, like focus on the core structure to analyze the courses properly um, back in india if i uh, like uh, get a chance to uh, analyze the core structure then it will be really helpful so these are the two things which i will be start over Yeah. got it got it well thank you so much kartik for you know sharing all of this information this was really helpful guys everyone who is watching definitely let us know your favorite tip in the comment section below do like share and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video